Hey guys, and today I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you about a service called FeedBurner and why you should use it for your website. It, it will make you a better webmaster. Um, FeedBurner is a Google service that allows you to wrap your feeds in a in a service doing that gives you more control and some perks that I'll talk about later so l let me just kind of dive into this and I'll talk to you about it as I go along so I'm on the select my new blog here on the feed um, which in WordPress blog in WordPress blogs by default you can find it slash feed and um, different web browsers will display RSS feeds differently because it's it's um, it's HTML it's not actually a sorry it's not HTML it's RSS as you know just if I view source here in Firefox that's not HTML that's actually XML RSS um, so it depends if your web browser displays it or not so that in itself is a reason to switch to FeedBurner just to get an HTML page so you can do it but we've done videos on RSS before and these are the options that Firefox gives you to um, subscribe to a feed not not terribly helpful well what if um, you could have your feed through uh, available through more popular readers and an automatic email feed subscription generated that's part of the reason why you use FeedBurner to get a nice um, feel for your feed pages and you can give them one feed burner URL um, and if your feed moves somewhere down the road you can redirect the feed burner URLs so your um, your readers or your podcast listeners or viewers can um, still get the content without having to move URLs so it's generally very good and you should um, start a feed burner feed when you um, start a website so today all we're going to do is create uh, burn the feed as they call it for tom com before I've really got any post so it's a nice it's a nice clean way to start off and um, so let's dive in like I said um, Google is a feed burner surface so if you click register for feed burner it will automatically recognize your Google account if you're logged in so that's anything like Gmail, Blogger any of those services will create a Google account for you um, so when you do that it will log in and as you see I'm just logged in with my Gmail account um, but right here you've got the burner feed right this instant type your blog or feed address here so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this feed address and and paste it in there and you can also select I'm a podcaster that'll give you automatic subscription and help you with all the, all the tags to iTunes and stuff so that's one of the big reasons to do this but this is going to be mainly text so I'm just going to click next and it's it's already detected a lot of the um, things so right now we've just got a feed burner URL but you can actually use it with your own domain name and it's a bit like Google Apps that I showed in a previous video and maybe I'll show that in a next video so all you have to do is just click next 
I mean, you can change some of those options, but they're automatically detected. So you're now given this um, URL, this clean URL, feeds to dot feedburner dot com slash Tom Rogers. Now y you could put it at feed dot Tom Rogers dot com if you wanted. Maybe that's something I'll do in the future, but for now I'll just show you this. Um, and it, it's browser friendly, like I was saying, improves y your experience in most web browsers make it easy to subscribe to and you've also got automatic uh, stats if you choose to so I'm gonna um, go on to the next thing to enhance my stats and it's all if you've got a feed burner it's also easier to um, in, in, integrate Google AdSense um, so if you're a podcaster you know, on a uh, track item download, you can do that. Um, but I'm just going to enable quick throughs and hit next. Um, and it automatically gives me all the stuff that it's going to work with and um, information on how I can monetize and optimize it but if I go to the analyze page uh, it says my feed is too new but you can kind of see in the background here just what it looks like and you can um, also see how many subscribers you've gotten it really helps you optimize your RSS usage on your site which is something that can be quite difficult if you're just going it alone um, so if I just get the URL for this it's feeds.feedburner.com slash Tom Rogers um, so if we just go to that URL, um, we, we can see the same thing right now, but it's a feed burning URL, so we've got all this extra functionality and if we go into the um op optimization things there's where you can customize a lot of your stuff um and monetize it and things like that and edit your links um, I think this might just be for, um, web podcast that it works with, but I think there's some other options you can configure as well. You can configure the license it comes with, and you can configure whether you're, al you're allowed email subscriptions, so... I'm going to click that because I'm doing this from my site here and I'm going to kind of show you how to integrate it um, later. So I'm just going to activate that. And there's all sorts of other things you can activate of course. I'm just going to allow this. and save it but right there it gives me some code as to what I can do so I'm using WordPress on my site so I can 
integrate this into a WordPress blog. Now, and it has all the information I need in it. And there's some automated things you can do. But all I'm going to do is pop open Coda here and go to my uh, sidebar. And I'm, again, I'm kind of showing you how to integrate it here. I'm going to just create, I'm just going to put that there so I can go back to my code, select all that code, copy it and paste it and it's got some um, quite bad things in here but it, it needs it for it to display properly so just leave it alone for example I don't like all this inline styling but just just leave it alone Google Google, Google know what they're doing um, so it gives you a form and you can edit it I'm just going to get rid of the um, rid of the prop rid of the anchor tag that goes to feed burner this is kind of a no no but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm going to clean up my feed a little bit um, so now let's head over kind of on a whim and refresh and there we get this email subscriptions box provided by FeedBurner and we can subscribe via email so that was how to set up a FeedBurner um, account add your feed and easily integrate it into your site thanks for watching and I hope it helps